always gonna happen. Tottenham for me tonight, what is going on? Morris, Morris, oh, oh my god, guys! But not in them forest, you know! There it goes fucking <laughs> two! It's fucking <laughs> shit! This can't continue. It's a bit bittersweet, you know? Oh, fuck off. Play the man! I don't. I don't kind of know how I can keep saying back him, back him, back him. <laughs> To the sort of man that will turn up when their son's 18. You ain't seen them before then. Morris. Oh, well, for what? For what? For please tell me for ah. fucking what? I'm gonna look like the idiot. Oh, it don't matter. We got bigger fish to fry. Ha, at least Tottenham lost. Welcome back to the fan channel review. Smash the like button. Subscribe. Leave your comments below. Turn on that bell notification button as well. Is my guy Rance with Henry Wright. Yeah, you look stink, man. <laughs> <laughs> you look stink. Henry's even laughing. Henry knows. Henry knows the score. What can I say? At least my manager gives me hope, yeah? Conte, yeah? The reason why you, man, are so shit, yeah? Is because... Do you honestly manager. think it's Conte or is it the players? Sure. Bruv, it's Conte, bruv. I saw this with Oli, yeah? As soon as the players are losing, yeah? And they have to take matters into their own hands, yeah? They start playing football. It's the manager. It's, it's, a, it's a big point being raised there by Rance. I think that Man United fans saw it with Jose. They saw it with Oli. You yourselves, Tottenham fans, saw it with Jose Mourinho. And I just think some clubs aren't suited to pragmatism. Some clubs aren't suited to this approach. Another eight defense, defensively-minded players picked for a cup game right? <laughs> Against Nottingham Forest, you've got the likes of Brian Hill on the bench. Yes, Richarlison and Kuliseski have just come back from injury, but they're sitting on the bench. You're 2-0 down with, what, 20-odd minutes to go, and you take Harry Kane off, who is desperate for a trophy. It is on Conte. And I'm hearing Tottenham fans not now start to moan and talk about their squad. But where were these guys moaning about their squad? When they were overrating their transfer window, when they were talking about best transfer window in England, the, the six cents, the six cents. Whoa, look at us, the six cents. We had a much better window than anybody. That's suddenly gone right out the window, hasn't it? Now that you're losing at the same rate that you've always done. <laughs> competition already and don't chat to me about it only being the Carabao Cup because we got no cups like Young MA fam. Honestly about AIA, we should be sponsored by Dyson or Shark because we absolutely suck. Tottenham half spur blood. These men will turn up to their own funeral in the second half. They're the sort of man that will turn up when their son's 18. You ain't seen them before then. Listen, this is why I love X. One, he's the funniest guy on YouTube. Two, he calls it as it is. He calls it as it is. He calls it as it is, people. He's angry for the right reasons. I heard Spurs fans yesterday telling us, it doesn't matter. It's only the Carabao Cup. What are you talking about? It's literally the only trophy you've won in the last 30 years. The internet didn't exist the last time you won a different trophy. The damn internet didn't exist. You've got to be angry. What you've also got to do is download the One Football app right now, my people. Get that done. Scan that QR code that is on the screen right now. The best one-stop shop for football. Statistics, league tables, news, transfer rumors. Brilliant articles in there. Plus, live Serie A football for free every single week. Plus, many more video clips and an abundance more of content in there for you. So get it downloaded. It's free of charge, available in all app stores. Link in the description or scan that QR code now. Conte, that was an absolute criminal selection, fam. It was like having a box of celebrations full of Mars and Bounty. It I like Mars. <laughs> I don't know about it. I like Mars. Leave Mars alone. Bounty, actually, I quite like Bounty as well. What's people's issue with Mounty and Bars? I want that in the comments. This shit lets me know you've been watching. What's your issue with Mounty and Bar Bar Bounty and Mars Bars? In the comments now, peeps. 
was criminal and the man's on the sideline smoking pasta shells and garlic bread watching us lose no it's an absolute disgrace blood we got fists up but not in them forest you know <laughs> it's forest that's what people are forgetting in this that's what people are forgetting it's nottingham forest here stink the place out fossil football fam that's what it is <laughs> he's spraying deodorant honestly blood and as for jed spence bro you mean to tell me, yeah? Oh, Jed Spencer, he, he's not ready. He's not ready. He's not ready. The man had more action in about flipping half an hour than Emerson's had in his whole career. Do you know them way there? I'm no longer listening to Conte about Spence ain't ready, fam. Play the man. Bro, the formation, yeah? Bruv, the man played 8-1-1 against Nottingham Forest, bro. Kulu on the bench. Brian Hill on the bench. Richarlison on the bench. Yes, I know Kulu and Richarlison come back from injury. Why is Brian Hill not starting, bro? Listen, he's right. Brian Hill not starting was a travesty. The defensive approach is a travesty. X is right to be annoyed, but I want your thoughts, people, and I want your feelings. It was always going to happen. I, I knew it was going in. You could just call it a mile away. Uh, one nil to Manchester City. Warranted. Uh, sorry, not warranted. Deserved. Maybe uh, it's it's a bit bittersweet, you know. I feel like we've we've done quite well up to this point. Do we deserve to be one nil down? I don't think so. Um, it's Mares. Oh fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> oh. The frustration, the frustration in Chelsea fans is killing me at the minute. It's killing me. I don't know if uh, Mendy's blindsided there. There's a lot of people in that wall. The wall didn't jump. The wall didn't jump. Well, yet. we did say that not only are we playing well. We have Fuck! No, man, why do we give it away then? Why do we have to give it away? Ah! Playing so well, man. Was playing so fucking well. No, Mares. Oh, oh my God, guys. What in the fuck are you doing? It's been a. Listen, I need to. I need to ask you all this, right? Like Chelsea are in a bad run right now. Two wins in the last seven games. Do you? I feel like Chelsea fans are on the edge of a big explosion. I think they want to get behind Potter. I think they want to get behind Bowley. But I, it's almost, but they're not used to what's going on at their club, especially the young fans. They've had 20 years of consistency. And what they haven't noticed from 2014 until now has been the steady decline because they were winning trophies along the way. But Man United were going through that. Man United did this. We, we won like, we did a three peat in the Prem. Won a Champions League, got the three Champions League finals, but we were going backwards. We just couldn't see it. And we couldn't see it because the club never replaced Rio, Vidic, Evra. In fact, you could argue up until this point, we haven't even replaced Gary Neville. He retired in about 2009, 2010, something like that. I even forget it's been so long. We didn't replace Cristiano Ronaldo at Man United until we bought Cristiano Ronaldo back over a decade later. But we were winning things and it hit us in the 2013-14 season and we've been playing catch up ever since. And I think that's kind of what Chelsea fans are experiencing right now. But the frustration in games, this weekend is going to be mad when they go up against Newcastle. Because can you imagine they, they lose again? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Uh, 87 lost. Um, let me just tell you something right now. Last season, we got to the semi final of this cup competition, really. And uh, straight after that, what's Lee going to say in here? Sorry, scoreline. Here I've seen go. the uh, reaction and the fallout to it, and go. it's, oh, it don't matter. We got bigger fish to fry. Ha, <laughs> at least Tottenham lost. Um, let me just tell you something right now. Last season, we got to the semi final of this cup competition, uh, lost to the eventual winners, Liverpool. Um, if we had won this competition, or at least got to the final last season, would all of the people that have this mindset of, oh, it don't matter, it doesn't matter, let's just throw that cup away, oh, it's the, it's the shit, who, who cares? Who ca if we had won it, 
would everyone have this mindset? I've seen Arsenal win this competition twice. At uh, 87, I was knee high to a grasshopper. I was like six, five. That means little, if anyone doesn't understand that phrase. Five, six. And, uh, and then again in 93, when it was part of a cup double with the FA Cup, beating Sheffield Wednesday in both finals. I'm flabbergasted. I'm amazed. I am actually baffled that a club that has won four trophies since we've been at the Emirates can just, as a fan base, go, don't matter. Oh, who cares? Lee's got a point here. And Lee's consistent in this about winning trophies is, is key. I understand some people want to prioritise. I understand people want to throw their eggs into the, the Premier League title challenge. And last night, what we actually saw from a lot of Arsenal fans online was, I want to focus on trying to win the Prem, which tells you they believe they can win the Prem. And this all makes perfect sense. The one reaction I was, I, I saw this in spaces yesterday of Arsenal fans before the game saying they'd rather go out so they don't have extra games later. Everyone knows my stance on this. I'll reiterate it very quickly. I don't believe you'd ever want your team to lose for the sake of going out of a tournament because you want less games to try and win another tournament, especially the league title. Because if, if your squad isn't good enough to cope with these League Cup games, you're not good enough to win the league. Because injuries and rotation have to happen within league football as well. No one wins a league title using the same 11 in every game consistently for 38 games. It's never happened. So you should want performances in these cup competitions to prove there is the ability to rotate. Arsenal have got to invest in January. There's no doubt about it. They're, 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 some of their fringe players are just not ready or good enough. But I do want your take on what Lee Gunner is saying here. Is it right to want to lose these games? I want to hear from you, people. Let's go! Come on! You get me. Big up the king every time. Every time. But, uh, yeah, like, Fabio Vieira, mm -hmm. yeah, again, you get me, he's gone in. You understand? He had a good performance against against Brentford. Yeah, that's a the, the goal. Ago. The goal gave man Viagra feelings. Pause. You understand? But since <laughs> then, <laughs> yeah, we forget the pause in every time. Yeah, every you time. understand? Yeah, yeah. We have the gallem. <laughs> we got them man there though, but we. I didn't know troops need Viagra. Like, that's <laughs> do our thing. You get me? <laughs> but you get me. It, yeah. You get me. It, apart from that, he ain't done nothing. Blood Lakonga. If you watch Troops TV, then you know my feelings on that. Brother blood, you get me. Albert El Nenny, bro. You understand? Oh, Albert El Nenny, bro. So do we need to strengthen it in that midfield? Because El, you said you're talking about El Nenny there and Sambi Lokonga. Yeah. Even down to fucking Inketia, bro, because he's been ghost apart from today. You get me? We've yeah, I, th I think Troops is right here. And look, Arsenal fans, I get they're not as disappointed as Tottenham and Chelsea fans because their club's on the ascendancy in the league. And I do get that argument as per the previous comment to, to what Lee said. But that January needs to come thick and fast. There's only a handful of games between now and January because of the big World Cup break. It seems a long way away, but it, it really isn't. It's a couple of months away. Um, and they've got to go out early, Arsenal. Edu, Arteta, these men at Arsenal. This next two months, six weeks, seven weeks, whatever it is between now and the world, between now and the return, they've got to get some work line. They, first of January, deal through the door type level because Arsenal have got a chance of doing something special this year and their performances in some Europa League and, and, the, and, and the League Cup games show they just need a bit more strength. They just need to go out and get that done. Uh, people, listen, I appreciate you tuning in. As always, get one football downloaded. Leave your comments below. Make sure you're subscribing and we'll see you all again very, very soon. Thank you. It's always going to happen. No, 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 Tottenham for me tonight. What is going on? Mares, Mares, oh, oh my God, guys! We're not in them forest, you know. There goes fucking two. It's fucking shit. This can't continue. It's a bit bittersweet, you know. Oh fuck off! Play the man. I don't, I don't kind of know how I can keep saying back him, back him, back him. They're the sort of man that will turn up when their son's eighteen. You ain't seen them before then. Mares. Oh, what, from what? From what? From please tell me from fucking what? I'm gonna look like the idiot. Oh, it don't matter. We got bigger fish to fry. Ha, at least Tottenham lost. <laughs>